Also at 5.30, a family forced out by fire, losing thousands in baby items they had been stockpiling. No one got hurt, thankfully, in this fire, which investigators say started in a bedroom. But now that family has to find some place to stay and get ready for the new addition on the way. Let's go to Local 10, Ian Margo, live now with more on this story. Ian. Calvin Christie, this story would be devastating any time of year, especially for a family that is expecting a newborn, but especially during the holidays. As of right now, they don't know how it started. They don't know what caused it. Steve Brain and Brittany Kohler live in this home with Steve's mother, sister, and niece. But now they need a new place to stay after it was torched by a fire on Wednesday. I just left, like I walked out and then she was coming home and that's when she saw the, the fire of the curtains. And all of a sudden, uh, next thing, the whole building is smoking. North Lauderdale firefighters knocked down the flames pretty quickly. No one was hurt and they were able to stop it from spreading to other living spaces. The problem is Steve and Brittany are expecting a newborn and all of the supplies they just bought now stink like smoke and some were in the bedroom that was scorched. We have to buy diapers, all the clothes we have to replace. They said it's not even worth trying to wash because the smell won't come out. So for now, they're salvaging what they can and trying to stay positive, but admit they are feeling a bit defeated during this holiday season. Right when we just went shopping. Yep. <laughs> just went shopping. Happy New Year stuff. and Merry yeah. Christmas to us. So obviously they're very down today. They have been getting help from the Red Cross this afternoon into this evening. They will be put up in a hotel for just a couple of days, but after that they'll be on their own. Right now the fire marshal's still working on an official cause on this. They say it is not arson, likely accidental. But again, this family just hoping they can somehow recuperate some of these losses. They say they definitely do not have the money to purchase all of those diapers clothing and everything else that comes with a newborn. In fact, moments ago, just before we went on air, a delivery truck truck showed up with what looked to be a crib. They had to tell them they had nowhere to put it wow. this evening. Live in North Lauderdale, I'm Ian Margul, local 10. So